much. Welcome to the Cooking Corner. Today I'm joined by Jeanette of All Things Cake and she's going to show us how to make a cupcake bouquet just in time for Mother's Day. I love cupcakes. I love making them, love eating them, but I wish I knew how to make them prettier and display them prettier. So I love this segment. I'm so excited you're here. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do today. Okay. It's, it's really simpler than people kind of think I that it is. I don't know. It doesn't look simple. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to show you two really quick techniques. Okay. Um, the first one is, you can see on this um, bouquet up here, is like the hydrangea technique. How cute is and that? And you use right? the most popular um, cupcake tip, which is the 1M, and you've got one also oh, the one on M. yours. Okay. And basically, you're going to make these little giant stars all over this cupcake. So I'm going to squeeze until I get the size, stop squeezing, and lift straight up. Okay. Squeeze and lift straight up all over the top of that cupcake. I kind of go around the edges first. Okay. I think yours are prettier than mine, but I love this. It's just something a little bit fancier, a little bit nicer look when you're putting them, especially out on your table if you're having company over or want to do something mm -hmm. special for somebody. I think I'm getting better. Yeah, okay, I'm a little yeah. slower than you. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and then um, we just kind of put a little bit of icing down and we can attach this right here to our bouquet. Oh, that's a great idea to make sure it sticks. And it's I not going that. anywhere. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, that's super cute. And then the other technique is made with a 104, which is a petal tip. Okay. And I, I did put two colors I in love my bag. The two colors. Can you guys see on um, the two colors? It's so pretty. Okay, let me see you how you do this. You just start in the center of the cupcake and draw these arches all the way around. Oh, looky there. And you just rotate your cupcake okay. and create these arches. And then we're going to go and do one more row of them right on top. Okay, right on top. How sweet does that mm -hmm. look? And you make and it look we'll make so simple. <laughs> I guess you've done this once or twice. A couple or a times, times yes. yeah. And, and then, then I we can put a like a little, cent little center on there. Yep, and put the little bead in the middle mm -hmm. of your flower. Yep. Super cute. I yeah. love it. And you can add, we can, we'll put yours on the. On the, um, oh, are you sure? Yes. Make up my little. I don't know if mine should go in next to yours. Okay, we'll stick it in there, and we'll yep. hide it. And then we got to draw our stem. Show us this. I love this. So I kind of put a center point down here. Okay. But basically, we want them all to kind of come through that. One center that's, point. That's a great idea because otherwise they'd be looking kind of crazy. So it mm -hmm. just looks like our stems coming yep. from our cupcakes. Yep. And then so however many uh, we have, I think six or seven cupcakes here. Got to have enough stems, many for stems. Our, <laughs> right, for our flowers here. And then we'll just add our bow, which is going to be just like a figure eight. Okay. And then your two bows. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And let's talk about this. I love the way this looks, and it looks so simple. And it really was simple to put it this It is together. simple, yeah. You just make your cupcakes, decorate them however you want. And then this is a little contraption you can get at our store or at any craft store. Right. And it has all the little pieces to, to screw into your um, mason jar lid. And okay. then you pull, uh, just put your little cupcakes right in it and fill the jar or paint the jar however you want. Do whatever you want mm -hmm. with it. Yep. Super any cute. Any color scheme. Of course, we can just come to you and you can do all this for us. I mean, we could, but we try to show you um, how to. How to do it so you can do it at I home I do too. love it because it is something that even an amateur could do and still Definitely. make it look pretty and moms love that. The, I love the two color zips and just adding the little green leaves in there yes, just gives it yeah. such a pretty you pop. To, you can add the leaves oh, on this I don't know one. how to do a leaf. Show me how to do a leaf so real fast. So for we leaves um, it's a pointy tip like this and okay. you think scissors. Hold it up just like scissors oh. and then you're just going to squeeze and pull back and it makes the leaf for you. So if you want to make it, you're yeah, welcome well, to. I'll try that during the <laughs> break. Of course, you can check out many more recipes just like this or fun activities to do at home. Go to our website, newson6.com slash recipes. We are so glad you came. I love this segment. Thanks we'll be right me. back.